Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. Today we're going to make some chow chow. I have never made this before. I've always wanted to and never have, but today we're going to do it. So let's get started. All right, friends, my mom bought me a new toy, so we're going to play with it today. I needed a new uh, food processor, and so she got me one for an early Christmas present, and I'm so excited to use it. So let's get started. All right, well, first we're going to get this cabbage chopped up, and we're going to use our food processor, but I want to get some of these outside leaves off. And we're going to get it chopped real quick and get it in the food processor. But we have to kind of get it in smaller pieces here. So let's see here. Did not mean to do that. But let's see if this works because I've, I've not even used this thing. Now, maybe this has to be in there. I know everything's safety. Well, would you look at that? I'm so excited. Mine, I had in moving and stuff. We moved here like nine years ago, but that's how old my, um, my uh, food processor is probably 12 years old. And I had lost that center thing to shred so i'm excited to have that back because i can shred my cheeses up and everything the recipe says one small cabbage this one's probably not considered a small but we're going to go ahead and use it just because we have it before it'll work. I have figured that out. That's going to be about it, though. We're going to give the rest of this to the chickens, they'll peck that caught the little end in these leaves to death, I can promise you. I took them an old watermelon, threw it out there to them a while ago, and they were going crazy on it. On this hot, hot um, day, they need stuff like that because, uh, friends, it is miserable here in the South. Miserable. Okay, I'm going to get my um, this cleaned out, and we're going to get all right, friends, since we've already got this dirtied up, we're just going to use it for the onions, too. The recipe calls for six onions. So we're going to get those going in there. I'm going to get the skins off of them. I think I can just skin them and uh, get the bottom and top off of them, and we can run them through it. We're going to say, and I did get another pot out because I'm afraid once I start adding this sugar and vinegar and stuff that we're going to run out of spice. So... We're going to use two pots so we can just kind of split the recipe in two. You'll notice I do that a lot because I have had some serious, like, things run over before. And it's such a mess to clean up. I'd just soon get another pot out. So we're just going to pop that in there. And I mean, why not use it? It's already dirty. And this will get them really small so they're easier to cook down. Three more. I wish I could find some onions to buy in bulk, like at the start of canning season, because this is about the only time that we use onions besides myself. I love onions, but my husband don't. I will throw one like in a roast or something, but friends, he hates onions, like raw or if they have to be really cooked down for him to eat them. So, but at the first of canning season, I could probably go through a 50 pound bag as much canning as we do around here. 
All right, these last three onions, and I went out to the garden and picked a few tomatoes because this recipe calls for some small tomatoes. I'm get that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so easy. Oh, I've got onion. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. We're going to get all this through in there. I'm happy about this new um, food processor, though. It's so nice. So nice to have something that's new and works really well and thank you mom i really love it all right friends now we've got all of our peppers here we're going to chop these up i'm just going to leave seeds and all in just give them a kind of a rough chop nothing fancy that one's hot i can definitely smell it and then these i'm just going to try to chop them like not tiny but you know, not leaving them big. They're just little, um, oh, uh, Tommy Toe tomatoes. I'm not putting a whole lot. I've got a pile over here we're going to use. And, um, that's, this is all the stuff I got from the garden to go in this chow chow. We like a little spice, so it said two hot peppers. We're adding a few more than that. I want my husband to eat it too, and I'm, I think if it's got a little heat in it, he might. These are sweet, so I'm adding them, and I'm going to add some more of our homegrown sweet peppers out of the freezer. Uh, I don't have any, like, fresh out there right now besides these little ones, but I'm going to chop all these because they have the best flavor. They do. These have the best flavor, I, and I can't pronounce what they are, but... I look at seeds. I buy a lot of seeds. I have a serious seed addiction. I guess there's worse things to be addicted to. And uh, if I see something that looks neat and I think we might eat it, I'll just buy seeds and we grow it and we try it the next year. These are those sugar rush peach peppers here. We're going to throw those in it. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of a lot of it because I don't want to be rubbing my face later and get set on fire. There's another one of those sweet ones. Chop that baby up. Another sugar rush peach. A couple more jalapenos here. It is so hot here in the South, friends. I mean, we're talking miserably hot. This is one of the hottest weeks we've had, and it is just terrible out. Just feeding. I mean, I had to change clothes. I was soaking wet whenever I got done out there today. Oh, it is awful. I think we're quite right at 100 degrees, but it's so humid here. The humidity is what will just kill you. I'm just going to chop what few peppers we got. We're going to split it between both pots because uh, we have quite a few in the, we've canned and quite a few in the freezer, and this isn't enough to you know, if I've picked them, I want to use them. Go ahead and get them used so they don't go bad. I've canned a lot of jalapenos this year. We've made cowboy candy and stuffed jalapenos. And we have just canned just like pickled jalapenos. Okay, there's our peppers. Now we're going to get all these tomatoes done. And like I said, I'm just going to give these a little rough chop. I ain't, they're just little Tommy toes. It's not like there's a lot on them. We're not going to add a... We're just going to add what we picked out there. It calls for six tomatoes, so... 
I'm just gonna chop these little dudes up here and get them in and then we're gonna the magic can begin magic the magic I was hoping we had, we've, we pulled most of our tomato plants, friends. It is, we have already put up about 77 quarts of tomatoes this year. And this heat and humidity, and we've had like little rains here and there, just ruined our tomatoes. They got a blight, and they look terrible, and they, you know, the, the pests were getting after them. And we don't spray, we have honeybees, and we don't, we don't spray nothing. We just grow things organically. And so we had all we needed. So we pulled all but um, our Tommy toes. And um, I think there's like a celebrity tomato and one Cherokee purple that looked decent. And that's all we left. The rest of them got chopped down or cut, pulled up and beds cleaned out and all that because friends, it was a mess out there. It took us probably a couple of weeks of working on it to get it back to to ready to plant again but we've got to mend still but we'll plant our fall crops as soon as this heat wave moves through we have had a serious serious heat wave here in the south and uh i'm over it i'm ready for fall <laughs> i am over it Over it, over it. This said you could use red. And that one's kind of rotten. I'm not going to put that in there. Red or green tomatoes. So we are going to use our red ones. I think I have a few more in the fridge that need to be used up. Yes. We're going to go ahead and chop them up and use them. Because that uh, friends... I try not to let things go to waste around here. And Wayne picked these the other day. And I thought, I think between what I've got in the fridge and what we have in the garden, we will have plenty of tomatoes for this chow chow. So that is what we are going to do. Use what we have. That's what you do on homesteads. You know, you just kind of go with what you got. All right, I'm going to get about half of this into here and the other half whoop, into here. See, I'm so messy. I get so messy sometimes. Maybe that ain't too bad. All right, now we're going to get our sugar and vinegar added. And we need five cups of vinegar, a quarter cup of salt, we're going to use pickling salt in this because I don't want it to turn my stuff. We're going to use like a little bit in each one. Sometimes if you use iodized salt in canning projects, it'll make your stuff cloudy. We're going to do two and a half cups per pot because this is, I believe it was five cups. Yep. Five cups, so two and a half per pot. See, I don't think all this would have fit comfortably in one, and I end up making a big enough mess without trying to be careful. We're going to turn these on and bring these up to a good simmer. Get it all mixed up in there. I need to get some more of those sweet peppers out. Oops. I don't want that many. There we go. There we go. We're just going to give it a little stir. We're just waiting on this to come up to a good simmer. And we're going to let it simmer for a few minutes. All right, friends. We're about to start jarring up our chow chow. I did add some mustard seed, a teaspoon to each pot, and a teaspoon of celery seed. I looked at a couple of different recipes and it had suggested that 
to me, friends, this smells just like squash relish. So we're gonna get started uh, jarring this up. I'm excited. I'm really excited since it smells like the squash relish because we love squash relish. So maybe this will be a good alternate for that when we don't have a good squash year like, like this year. But I'm just gonna kinda take a lot of the brine that I can out because I think I don't want it real briny. I do this with my squash relish. I want a little brine in there, but there's still some, but you know, I don't want it just mostly brine. And then we'll just cover, and these process for 10 minutes in our water bath canner, friends. So, we're gonna get all these jars filled, and then we're gonna wipe our rims and um, get them in the canner. This is gonna be quick and simple, and we're gonna have some yummy stuff on our pantry shelf. I think this will be so good with fish and with on hot dogs and just, just all kinds of stuff. I'm excited, especially since we didn't have any squash relish this year. start wiping these rims and getting them out of my way and getting them in the canner so we can kind of see how many we have friends. That is hot. Hot, hot. And I'm thinking about just dumping that other pot into this one and kind of mixing it together. Now that I've got some of this out. every jar as I'm filling them I'm just going to have wiping the rim and getting a lid on them because I don't need them right in my way. All right friends we had a little small jar we're going to give this a try and see if it's good what it tastes like. Mmm. Oh this is good. It's got a little heat in it from the pet hot peppers sweetness and on that vinegar flavor oh i love it i will definitely be eating this with hot dogs fish you name it that is delicious all right friends we are ready to get our stuff out of the canner Ooh, i'm so excited to have this beautiful chow chow on our pantry shelves because I really like it. Alright, we're just getting the rest of our chow chow out. I'm really excited to have this on our pantry shelf. And Wayne even liked this, so I'm really happy about that. Friends, we got our chow chow made, and I know that I think I know I'll really enjoy that on hot dogs with fish and stuff. And I'm, I'm really happy I tried that. And I want to thank you for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe our videos and help our channel grow. And thank you again, friends. Until next time, goodbye.